So in this channel, up at the very top, I have like a basic walkthrough. So read your course outline. Have you done that? We'll go through it. Yes. Too. Okay. Then you're going to look at your exam notes. So you're just going to look through the folders that we sent, which are in here. So these yep. files, so you will have an exam to write um, the final Wednesday. So I'm just going to March 17th. I would say write your exam on the 17th. You have two chances to write. Um, your you, It'll just take the higher mark. So if you get the higher mark the first time, it'll just take that mark. It will take your second mark. So I always suggest just write it twice, but you have to have 48 hours within between writing it. So do one on Wednesday, one on Friday. It only takes like, I think Edwin and I did it in like an hour without studying and we passed with like a 70. So, okay. Um, yeah, so it's not too bad, but we did make you guys some notes. Oh, and look at there's nothing in here. So I'm going to add some files to this. So in here we have your, we're going to put in your ebook. Um, okay. This is your course outline. Why is there two course outlines? I wonder. There's a course outline and there's a course outline. And there's a course outline. Okay. Well, I'm going to open up this one. Okay. Oh, you know what? I'll just use the preview. The preview is fine. Okay, so in here you have three weeks to complete. Um, you're basically going to get an overview of like coding. So mostly HTML5 and CSS. Um, you're going to, so some of this will be kind of like, you know how to explore the internet. Planning a website, it's going to kind of give you like the basics. What parts are, are in a web page? Um, what are the names of them? Like, right, so it's going to be like technical. It's really different than what we've been doing. So you're kind of shutting off the creative side and you're going to learn technicals. So there's not a lot of creative freedom in these projects. It's just, you know, plug away doing the steps that you need to do. So if you follow the your outline in session one, it just says like assignment one, part one, which is really easy. Part one is just basically making an outline of um, what you want to put in your website. So let me go to the assignments here. So if I go to assignment, where are the assignments? Are they in here? Oh, they're in here. Okay, so here's the assignment here. So um, this is part one here. So assignment one, part one is right here. Do you see this? Whoops, whoops. Okay, so this is part one here. Introduction to the internet and web design. So then it says, based on scenario, the scenario selected. I think you're frozen. Pardon? Go ahead. I think you're frozen. Okay, okay, I saw it now. Oh, okay. Because it, it was uh, frozen earlier. Yeah. Um, so in here, it says part one introduction. And when you go into, I'm going to close this because it doesn't have my files in it. I'm going to put them in. Um, in your ebook, we're on the ebooks on a different page. I'm going to pull my ebook over here so I have them both side by side. So here's my ebook. And here it says, consider this your turn, page 47 of your textbook. So then in my textbook, of course, you're going to go through it first because it does teach you yeah. to do some lessons. It kind of like is a, it's really boring, but it's like step by step by step. Um, yeah. If you follow those steps, by the end of it, you kind of come out with like a, a portfolio and then you can just go back and change some of the images and change things later on. Does that okay. make sense? So what you're going to do is, okay, I'm going to scroll down to the right page here. Um, I want to go to page 47 for you first. I'll kind of go through this a little bit, but so here in these steps, when you're going through these, you want to watch for these pages. So these yellow pages like this, yep. these are the ones where you're going to apply your, what you're learning to the okay. actual. And these are the exact steps to follow in here. These are okay. exact steps to follow. 
Um, so you just follow those in your textbook. Now, when you get to this part where it says, consider this your turn, and like here, you don't need to do number two. You just need to do number one, because in here they have a personal, a professional, and another portfolio uh, project, mm -hmm. or another, another project. They basically have like three different projects you can choose from. We just suggest doing your portfolio so that by the end of this whole course, you will have like a great portfolio because you'll have designed it a few times or redesigned it or tweaked it or whatever, right? Okay. So that's why we suggest doing the portfolio piece. So then this is the beginning of your book. It goes through everything. Basically, the first three chapters are mainly what your test is on. So that's where all those notes come in handy. Um, in your so in here we have exam notes. You probably can't okay. see it under assignments. It says exam notes. So there's like a little quiz you can give yourself, like just to see how much you know. Um, there's a study sheet of a study sheet just that kind of gives you like a breakdown of what everything means. So okay. body means a visible part within the HTML. It's like a main part of that coding. So anything in blue is what you have to have in your document to make it function, like basics. Um, okay. and then I have like heading and things like that within each. So a heading and a heading body HTML. Um, this one here is a really great little presentation that kind of breaks it down for you. So it tells you to open up um, Notepad on a PC, or you can use plain text in no, in text edit, or you can download. Um, there's a few different apps here you can download to work with. We don't suggest doing Dreamweaver right now because you're going to do it later and it, you'll get confused because we don't. We're going just solely on coding right now. We're not doing any of the other stuff. So using BB Edit, that's what I typically use, um, but you can look through these. These are all free ones. And then I go through the HTML basics. So um, the main part of an element, so an element is a main part of your HTML. Like, so each sentence kind of is like an element. Um, so here is an example. So in your element, this is your opening tag. So whatever comes in front of it with those two brackets is called an opening tag. Then you have a closing tag that's at the end and it has a hashtag. So or slash slash P, right? So it's P and then slash P is the closing. So opening, closing. Yes. And then the middle is called the content. And then the bot, the whole thing all together is called the element. So that's what I meant by a sentence. Like it's, a, it's like one line in your HTML is like an element. And then I give you some examples of what common types of element tags are. So these are all opening tags, obviously, um, but just to give you an idea of what they mean. So I have all that, like a title page element is title, the body page element is body, a paragraph element is P, right? So all of that. Yes. And then I kind of give you like a little like, which one's the opening tag? And then you, you know, they're all in purple. And then I say, what is the closing tag? Um, what is the content? What is the element. So I'm just testing you basically, or you can test yourself. So then elements also have something called attributes. So attributes are within the element typically. So common attributes are like href, which means reference. So it's referencing something, a link or a, a web page or something like that. Uh, image source. So it's sourcing an image from a, your folder. It also determines the width or the height. Um, so they all have an equal, these ones all have equal signs after them. So it says style equals, language equals, title equals, right? So those are all your attributes. So then if you, I say list the attribute and I kind of give you an idea of like where it is, it's all in red here. So href source title alt is all. Um, and then there's nested elements. So nesting, if you're nesting an element, it means that there's like, it's within the sentence structure. So it's within the HTML element. 
Yep. And an empty element means that there is no closing tag. So for images, so when it says image source, you don't have to have a closing. Notice how there's no like slash image. You don't have to have that. That means that there's, it's an yeah. empty element. Okay. And then this is actually, I put this in here so you guys can copy it. Um, if you wanted to, this is like basic, basic web coding structure. Okay. Obviously the image source isn't like, the, it won't be there. Like that's not actually an image. Um, you would add your own in there, but this could be something you could just copy and paste every time you start a new document. So that's what this is. So then what I'm talking about here is like, um, index should always be like your, your landing page, your home page name. So it's called index. Um, it's the first page of your website. And then I talk about all how HTML documents, what these all are. So it has to start with this. If you don't have it in there, it won't work. So like these are all required. HTML, I talk about what it is in this PowerPoint. Uh, your body copy is your visible part of your um, website. Okay. So that's like where all of your logos and your navigation and your content, like everything is within the body. Everything in the heading above that is just for like my test page would be like what it's called. Like if you were to type Google my test page, then that's what this would try and trick. This would grab this information. Um, and then this is a little bit about CSS. CSS. So it just says always make sure you have properly organized files because this is where it all gets really convoluted. If you don't have them organized this way, it gets messy and then things stop working and they won't link. It's kind of like you missed a part of your plumbing. So um, CSS should always be in a folder altogether. Images always in a folder together. JavaScript, which we're not going through, but should always be in a folder with right beside all of your web pages. So this is the index HTML. And then I go through CSS a bit more. I'm not going to do that right now because that will be too much. Okay. Um, your, so there's three projects or three assignments and a pro final project and then your exam, which does sound like a lot, but it's not. Um, back to these assignments in the assignment folder where it says. Where is my I'm just going to open up my file again. Did I? Oh yeah, so this is here it is. In your folder, I actually copied the the page in your of your textbook that has this on it. So if I go okay. to page 42, so you can see at the top left it says 6 HTML chapter 1. We need to go to 47. So I'm just going to drag down my So this one's 17, the they're just at the top right, so there's 42. So I'm almost there. You can see that the the pages get turned yellow. OK, OK, so here's 47. So here's the page that says consider this your turn. So this is what you'll be completing for part one right here in your assignment. It says part one. This part okay. right here is this right here, but I don't want you to do this uh, design and create a web consult consulting business. Okay. I just want you to do this part. You don't okay. have to do two or three. So every time you come to it, consider this. You're just going to do number one person. OK, OK. OK. And then in part two, it just says. You can set up. Um, so part one, this part says like, what do you want your website to accomplish? Yeah. I'm going to go back to the folder. And there's a website planning document, so it looks you can just fill this in. That's basically what this part one is asking you. Mm -mm. Actually, maybe I'm going to call this part. I'm just going to call this part one. Part. Oops, part. One. OK, so um, you just fill this in. So what's the purpose and goal of your website? Well, you want it to be a portfolio. What's your company's mission? It's to attract clients, right? Okay. Or to show yeah. off work or to 
um, apply for jobs because maybe this portfolio is going to be for applying for jobs. Um, describe your audience and your gender. So this is all just going to, it's a fillable form. So you can just open an Acrobat and type it all in. So, so that's, that's for that's assignment one. Part one, right? That's pretty uh, easy. Part one. Like yeah, okay. 10 minutes. And then part two is be sure to access the correct files. So this one is turn to section 81 of your textbook, which again, like I have, I have these consider this in here. So here's the part two part. So here's part one up here. This one's part two, create a home page for your personal portfolio. So you're going to do, oh, maybe this is the one that I was, talking about start by entering a basic required HTML tags. Oh no, into a new HTML document in the editor and add your four parts. So that's all you have to do. So your basic required HTML tags are going to be the ones that are in that file that I just showed you. And then you just have to follow these instructions. So name, you can name it portfolio to um, submit your assignment in the format specified. So we want it as like um, your, we want it as your whole document folder. So then it says, be sure to access the correct files for the scenario. Then you'll go to part three, enhance a website with links and images. So then you basically just take what you had in part two, you're going to call it part three, cop duplicate it, call it part three, and then you're going to um, or you can like duplicate it and save it as part two and then move on and do that part two as part three. Um, so then you would have on page 135. Where's my other document here? It says you'll create a home page for your personal portfolio website. So when you go through like your lessons and stuff, it won't it'll look like um, I think it's a fitness center or something. So you could use that and just change change some of the stuff in it. So copy all of your, it's like copy and pasting kind of, right? So you can copy and paste, just make sure you have all of your folders. And when you okay. run into problems, like do not hesitate to ask us right away. Yeah. We are here okay. to try and help you through this, okay? Okay, so I will see on that uh, book whatever the uh, platform that I'm going to use, right? Because yeah, this is basically creating a website because on GDT yeah. 30 example, we're using InDesign. For this one, what is specific um, platform are we going to use? Like we just, BB I edit. just follow. So in that document that I gave you, that PowerPoint, yeah. I use BB Edit. So can you see BB it? Edit. BB Edit, it looks like this. Okay, you so I download it. So download that um and i would use that because at least it's colored like you can use um text edit or notepad but it won't color the text so you can see so different okay. colors mean different things so they'll have each element will be in a different color each um all of your like inline i don't want to get too far ahead yeah. of you so yeah, uh, all of the different parts of your elements are going to be different colors, basically. OK, perfect. so it just shows up a lot easier. So if I say new text document. Oh, wait, I can go here and go to oops. Uh, new HTML document, sorry. Continue. I'm not buying a license. It's just you just have to say, no, I'm not buying it. Um, OK, and typically it will say maybe it won't let me open it. You just have to save it as an HTML if you don't. So I'm not going to go back and get that. But if I were to put. Um, doc type. I can't even remember. I'm doing it wrong. And everything. I would just put all of these in first. So these are like my basics. And then in between these, so I have my HTML opening click and closing tag. And then I have my uh, heading, oops, or head opening tag and head closing tag. And I also have my body and 
opening tag and my body closing tag. Oh gosh, I can't even type today. There we go. And is that a closing tag? No, I forgot my slash. Okay. And the other thing you can do in your textbook is if you don't want to, like when you get to, so where is it? Some of these here. Um, oh, right here. It says like, no, that's not it. It's further down. You can copy some of the text. So in the white pages, like in here, for example, okay. here, <clears throat> it will give you like a, a list of things to type in. Once you start making okay. your website, uh, right here is this it. And I think I just copied it. Some of it. Oh, yeah, right here. So it says like title, type this stuff here. I just basically like selected it and then I copied it. Just that part. Um, copied it and then I pasted it in my document in here. Paste. Right, and then it kind of sets it up for me. Oh, I don't. Okay. I need to put this in the heading. This needs to go here. There we go. So that's what I did for the lots of it. So you don't have to type it out because if you miss, like, if you have like a space, an extra space or something, it doesn't work. It's like really, 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 really finicky about being exact and precise. Okay. Um, so same with these, like I put all of these in and it says blank line. So then I would just grab these in the navigation and I, in the heading, I just pasted it. And when it says blank line, I just put a space in like that. And then I keep going it says insert a point after title. You're going to add in forward fitness. So you're going to put title and then you're going to put forward fitness, right? And then I would just copy and paste them. And then this is how you add comments. So this is a commenting area. So you can put it in like here, place your comment here, right? So then you have it in there and you could just okay. copy and paste a bunch of it instead of typing it all out. Okay. I would suggest doing that just because then you're not screwing up in typing. So like, for example, here's one here and it's like, this website template was created by Students, first name, last name, whatever. And so I would just copy this and I would just put it in here after this. And then you put your name in instead, obviously, right? And that would be now it's ready to go. So then I just put in, you would just put in your name. And then step two, same thing. It says like uh, on line 10, press the tab key and then do this. So Oh yeah, and these are because they're comments, they just want them to tab so you, they're not right along the line. So that's all that is. So that's basically what you do here. And and if it says line 10, just watch where you put it because line 10 is actually right there. It's just I had in some extra type. But just follow the ebook. That's the best way to do it, I would say, Hanny. Okay. Is that okay? And then, yeah. And then how do I submit that? Like if I finish my assignment, is it still Dropbox or? Yeah, still Dropbox. So just make a folder. You're going to have it assignment one, and then you're going to have part one, part two, part three. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and then as I go through, I might ask a lot of questions because I'm do new that. to yes. this. Please do. Because really, okay. I've been reading it since weekend and I, my headache was, I, my know. head is like, what is this? It's man? So many. I know. Okay. Yes. It's a lot. Alrighty. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome.